Welcome back as we connect with each other and with Jesus. Why won't you take a moment and just think about your dreams? Maybe these were dreams you had when you were younger. Maybe the dreams you have right now. But dreams give us optimism, give us hope. Now, maybe there's some dreams you can think of that you abandoned, and it can depress us and discourage us when we think of dreams that just didn't come to fruition. Or maybe you didn't necessarily abandon it, but maybe you drifted away and forgot about it. Because unless we write them down and really are intentional, the dreams don't really amount to much. Jim Collins is a leadership guy, and he studied successful companies. And he says successful companies have what he called big, hairy, audacious goals. Goals that people on the outside would think are crazy. Just They would think it's even nuts just to think about something like that. But that's exactly what we're supposed to do with our prayers. Our prayers are supposed to be big, hairy, audacious, goal-oriented prayers. Prayers that people who don't believe in God might think we're crazy for having them. In Luke chapter 11, Jesus tells us that we're to have courage and boldness when we go to God in prayer. See, our prayers shouldn't be safe. They shouldn't be comfortable. Instead, they should move beyond what we believe is the realm of possibility because that's how big of a God we serve. Our prayers should be big, should make us uncomfortable, should not be safe. And part of why we do that is because we believe God wants the best for us. One of the attributes we give to God is that he is our father. He's our loving father who wants us to succeed and to thrive. So we go to him with our biggest and our boldest prayers, not in arrogance, but because we know he is all powerful and he loves us deeply. Mark Batterson wrote the book called The Circle Maker, which is a book all about prayer. And it's a super engaging and powerful book that I've encouraged you to read. Mark Batterson wrote The Circle Maker. And he writes in there, says, God isn't offended by your biggest dreams or boldest prayers. He is offended by anything less. If you don't go to God with your deepest, boldest, craziest prayers, then he's offended by that. Because God is all-powerful, and God loves us deeply. And the combination of both means that nothing is outside of God's ability or possibility. So whatever your dreams are, your hopes, your wants, your needs, your wishes, God can meet them. And he calls us to have the faith and the courage to go to him with all of those. Again, not in arrogance, but at the intersection of humility and courage. Stay connected to each other and to Jesus.